Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a trendy speed ramps like in D2 shots reels on Instagram. Here the main secret is the shots that you make. Let's scroll the video slowly so I can explain you better what I mean. If you look closely, his every single video starts from the same angle and he continue his video right from that part. Now let me show you on a car video's example so you could understand it better. But first of all let's mark all beat drops so we can sync our video with the music. Press L twice on your keyboard to open waveform. To mark the beat drop, simply press star on your keyboard. Once you are done, we can begin making speed ramps. Right click on your clip, go to time and select, enable time remapping. By moving this time we can choose the beginning of the speed ramp and the ending. For example I want my video to start from here. Now let's scroll to our first beat drop and let's move the time forward again to choose the ending of the speed ramp. Now cut the video what's after the keyframe is and I will need a clip that starts from the same position. Let's bring our second clip and enable time remapping on it. Move the time until it will be at the same position as the first video. Scroll to a beat drop now and move the time to choose the ending of your speed ramp. That's how it looks like, once my first video ends, it continues from the same direction, position, and angle. Let's bring another clip and do the same and remember, to achieve this cool speed ramps, your videos should always go at the same direction, for example my videos are going from the left side to the right so, I will keep all my videos going to the same direction. And for example if you want to change the direction and make it go in opposite, you can make a cool transition before changing the direction, or you can even add a video that goes forward or backward and then change it. That will look better rather than your first 5 clips go all the way right and the suddenly one clip goes to the left, that will look weird. It's better to add some effects before you change any directions of your videos. Now let me skip that part and let's jump to curves. If you need a deep explanation of a speed ramps and how to make them smooth, check this video's description, I will leave a tutorial link there. Today's video is about how to make similar speed ramps like D2 shots for example. Once you've finished with your clips, select all keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now select first keyframes and go to graph editor. In graph editor make the same curve like in the video. Now go back and select second clip's keyframes and in graph editor make the same curve. Do the same curve on all of your videos and let's check what we have edited. Lastly enable frame blending on your clips and add motion blur, I will use RSMB Pro plugin, if you don't have it, you can use CC Force Motion Blur, that works fine as well. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.